In terms of the relevance of anthropology today, which on the surface doesn't look too good, apart from the um, very abstract theoretical discussions that always continue in the discipline, the, the practical effects seem to have been bypassed by, first of all, other disciplines becoming interested in indigenous people. To me, when I was a, an undergraduate, what I got from anthropology was the lesson that ethnocentrism is a dangerous phenomenon of human. Now, it's quite natural that we judge others who at first seem to us strange the way they behave. Our initial reaction is to judge them on the basis of what seems common sense to us without realizing that common sense is not a universal quality, it is very much ethnocentrically determined. And once you, when you study other people and other cultures and other uh, things and realize no matter how strange these seem to me, I want to understand things from their point of view. I want to see the way they see. I'm not going to just get by with the notion that they're crazy, that, that they're stupid, that they do things uh, ir irrationally. And, and, and that requires you, as I say, to shake off your, uh, to examine your own ethnicity, to examine your own prejudices. And I have still got them. I'm fully aware I'm not a Cree. I can't think like a Cree or a Fijian or, you know, I'm still the outsider in my research and the outside you know there's a lot of perspective on on inside a perspective on auto ethnography that is and indigenous people explaining to outsiders what being a, a Cree on an Inuit or a Eno or a Fijian is is like and that's very good but I also say that we, the outsiders, particularly bringing a comparative perspective, knowing the, the, the variations on this way of doing, of thinking that occur elsewhere and, and, and that, uh, we can see more of what's going on than some of those who are direct, some parts of it, I, you know, I'm, so, so I, now just think of the world affairs at the moment the stuff going on in the Middle East, the stuff going on. If only the Americans, in particular and the British, who insist on inserting themselves in these local disputes and, and, and trying to teach people a lesson, if only they had a better anthropology, you know, used anthropology more, you know, for instance, before going into Iraq, all of that did, could have been foreseen by, by sensitive, anthropologists knowing the 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 factionalism of of, of among the different um, Muslim sects in the country who took the opportunity of lawlessness to to get out get back at, the, at their enemies you know all of that could have been foreseen and taken care of uh, you know so ethnocentrism and its solution the awareness of it first of all and the sensitivity to others and, and that has an un, should have an enormous place in world affairs it doesn't i'm afraid so i i, I certainly don't think anthropology is is over as a discipline uh, we we have a hell of a lot of work to do still to get that message out as as the society becomes more global and, and because that's the other thing I, you don't, this notion that in a global society we're all going to become Westerners, we're all going to become uh, just um, customers of Coca-Cola and, 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 and we're all going to be the same because of the power of the, of the international market, that's proving not to be the case. 
people uh, are, are um, and so understanding that is still going to be necessary for, uh, and so there's still a, a work for anthropology. I'm very, uh, uh, you know, uh, even though it, it does seem as though the discipline has, has faded somewhat and, and doesn't, doesn't seem to be attractive. It's lost its romantic appeal. Certainly, I, I have to acknowledge that the romance of anthropology was, was such excitement to me. But this, at the end of the day, you realize it's totally unrealistic, this, this kind of, you know, I've had my adventures, uh, but, you know, uh, uh, life is not just all of these uh, ad adventures, and, and it's turning those adventures into into critical understanding of, of other other people and how they live, because I, you know, I, that's the other thing. anthropology, and I'm uh, as much that tend to be advocates for the people they study and tend to 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 admire them and and work on their behalf, and I've done a lot of that, but I'm not uncritical. I, you know, I, I, one one uh, still. Uh, has one's own independent uh, opinion about how people, but you just uh, can't make the mistake of Indian affairs before that and think they know, think we know, you know, I'm always, there's this kind of tendency to as anticipatory knowledge. People believe they know how things are going and therefore they act as if they'd already come about. And it turns out sometimes they don't come about that way, they go in another direction. But I'm always wary of that kind of anticipatory uh, uh, wisdom. <laughs> to imagine that things are the way they look like they're going to be. Or even knowing where things are going to be. Uh, I usually just trust people who say they know how things are, are going to turn out. <laughs> And then that, that, that way, I guess we're not much of a science because I guess the the, the test of a science is whether you can make predictable, predict, <laughs> or you, you can make predictions that turn out to be true. <laughs> but anyway, my my life in anthropology has been an amazement to myself. I can't believe how fortunate I've been, you know, starting out, as I say, as a, as a high school dropout farm worker uh, without much, um, without much confidence in, in my own intellectual abilities, uh, I must say. I wasn't, I didn't think I'd ever, I had a overflated ego when I used to get into arguments with people, but, you know, in my quieter moments, I was quite, um, uh, quite humble, but, but, yeah, so looking back on the career, I have really lucked in, <laughs> or I don't know how, but, but I, it, it's been a very rewarding life to be an anthropologist, for sure. <laughs>